Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Jonathan Nelson, and I'd like to talk to you guys about assigning, pre-assigning serials or lot codes to production orders. Uh, so there are many types of manufacturing environments that need serial or lot numbers created prior to the completion of the manufacturing process. Right now in Acumatica, if you are making something, you have to assign either at the beginning, so upon receipt or upon issue. So when you issue the materials, uh, this allows you to create serials for a parent item and then associate those uh, parent serials to subassembly serials. So that could be to provide labels that are placed inside the machine during the manufacturing process or a serial number that is etched into a metal part that is inside like a valve or a, a uh, pipe. Um, it applies to situations where the manufacturer may need to trace certain parts or subassemblies uh, that are made and consumed during the manufacturing process. Uh, the pre-assignment functionality will only work on items with a lot serial class that is set to uh, when received as the assignment method option. So the method for controlling uh, the serial lots is controlled at the production order type. So you can go through and create a production order type uh, that is specific to assigning serial lots, or you can associate that uh, same method to your regular orders. In the lower right-hand corner, you'll notice that they have added a section for allow pre-assigning serial lots. If that checkbox is selected, it then makes this require parent lot serial number available. There are three options there with a never on issue and on completion. I'm going to show the on issue method. Uh, never would be if I set that to on my regular orders and I did it occasionally, it still gives me the capability to pre-assign, but it doesn't force me to pre-assign. If I do on issue, on issue will force me to uh, not I'll release a parent until it has a serial. And then on completion allows me to use the late assignment functionality and assign them at the end of the manufacturing process while still having uh, some of the uh, pre-assignment functionality available. So as we walk through this, uh, you will see that uh, we can create these orders. So I created uh, one specific to pre-assigning serial numbers, and that's the one we're going to use. So if I go in and create a new order and I go to my pre-assigned serial numbers, you can see that I have my order type up there. And we're gonna make a Keurig today because everybody likes their Keurigs. And we're gonna create two of these. So as I create two, I have a line details section now. And if I go out to my line details, you can see that I have no serial lot. It's basically a holding field for the serial lot for the parent. And that represents the, the parent serial lot. If I change that to three and went back out, you'll see that it gives me three lines. So if I go ahead and make two and I put it on the line details, as soon as I save this, it will generate the next serial lot for the parent. I could have also pushed this generate button within the screen and it would have generated them, but I get the same functionality just by saving it. The save function within creating a production order also plays into how it schedules and uh, how everything else processes. So the, there are multiple screens that allow you to just click release and not save. Uh, this is a screen where you have to click save in order for certain functionality to occur before you are allowed to release it. So this has allowed you to assign two serials to this item. My next step would be to release this order. It is going to let me release it. So I now have a released production order with two serial numbers associated to those parent items. My next step would be to release my materials for this production order. So I'm gonna to go to my material wizard and I'm gonna select all to create my transaction. You'll see that on this transaction, I have an item that is requiring a lot serial number. I have a split out here. If I select that row and I click on line details, you'll see that I have two serial numbers for those subassemblies that I need to connect to my parent serial number. So this circuit board is going to go into that serialized Keurig. And this circuit board is gonna go into that serialized Keurig. So as I'm issuing the materials, I am identifying what serial uh, circuit boards are going to go into what uh, Keurig. This allows me during the manufacturing process to be able to trace back to the circuit board serial 
exactly which serialized Keurig that this item went into. So I'm going to go ahead and, and go past this step and show you an order that was processed earlier. So what happens is I have a lot serial number and these are my parent serial lots. The additional functionality that they have added is they have added a lot serial hierarchy report that allows me to look at my parent serial lot. And then I can look at each parent serial lot and the component serial lots that were associated to that. I also have an as built configuration, which allows me to look at the parent serial lots. I could look this up by serial lot number or by item number or a specific sales order number, or I can look up the production order number and see what my parent serials are. And then if I have serialized items at the lower level, I can see that I have a parent ID, I have my parent serial numbers, and I have my component serial numbers.